Welcome friends once again to TV Box Top, the one place for the best reviews in TV boxes, mini PCs and accessories. What if you had a portable touchscreen monitor with built-in USB ports combined with an RGB mechanical keyboard compact into one device? Imagine the things you can do with it, the places you can go and the various ways you can apply such a device. Introducing the Feature RGB Mechanical Keyboard with built-in touchscreen display. This device can be used on desktop PCs, laptops, mobile phones, tablets, TV boxes, mini PCs, and any device that has an HDMI or Type-C display output. In this review, we'll take a look at its unique design and features and a few ways you can use it for personal use, business, and for entertainment. So stay tuned. And welcome back. In this package contains the mechanical keyboard touchscreen combination device itself. You get what they call a 30, which is simply a wrist pad to use while typing on flat surfaces. You get one Type-C to Type-C cable, a USB Type-C to HDMI USB adapter cable. You get a key puller in the event you need to replace keys on the mechanical keyboard you get a soft suede material carrying case and a multi-language user manual. To the front of the keyboard is where you will find a full RGB mechanical keyboard layout with switchable keter on keys. And to the top you have a 12.6 inches 1920x515p LCD touchscreen display. To the top edge of the keyboard you have two USB ports a Type-C display input port, an LED power light, a power button, and plus and minus buttons for adjusting the brightness and backlight and for navigating the settings menu of the monitor. The RGB feature on the keyboard is programmable and if we refer to the user manual, you will find various key commands to adjust its speed, color patterns and brightness. There is also the option to turn it off. This K2 model comes with switchable K2 Gateron keys and in this model it has the blue clickety keys that presents a strong keystroke feeling. You can use the brown colored key type for office and light gaming that provides a gender keystroke and the red keys for a much quieter low profile layout. And below the keyboard, it has four anti-skater rubber pads and a pair of outriggers to tilt the keyboard forward. So I'll now try it on a couple of devices and continue. The first and obvious way to use it is with your mobile phone or tablet. If your cell phone or tablet has a Type-C display port, you can use it to mirror your screen. Or if your device has a desktop mode such as a Samsung DeX or EMUI, you can enter into desktop mode and convert your mobile device into an Android desktop touchscreen computer. This is done by using the included Type-C to Type-C cable, with one end connected to the Type-C port on your mobile device and the other end to the keyboard itself. With reverse charging, your phone will power its display and RGB keyboard functions. While this may appear convenient, it will also drain your phone's battery, so it's advised that you use the assistance of a USB Type-C hub that has a charging port, along with a power adapter that has adequate wattage to charge the phone and the keyboard simultaneously. For this demonstration, I'm using the Chotec 7-in-1 Type-C hub, along with a power supply that can provide over 4 watts of power to manageable devices. When applied like this, you can use the keyboard connected to your mobile device for an extended period of time without draining your phone's battery. When connected to your mobile phone in desktop mode, you get touchscreen functions on the display as well as keyboard functions. The only downside is that it does not have built-in speakers and audio will instead have to be played through your mobile device. I will now do a quick demonstration so that you can view the quality of its display and touchscreen functionality.
Another way this keyboard touchscreen combo can come in handy is on Windows devices that does not have a display or included keyboard and mouse such as Windows mini PCs. Most times, when you purchase a Windows mini PC, you also have to purchase a keyboard and mouse to go with it. With this multifunction keyboard connected to your Windows mini PC, you get an all-in-one solution to navigate Windows. If your mini PC has a Type-C display port like this one, it only requires the Type-C to Type-C cable to power and access all functions of the keyboard including its USB ports. If it does not have a Type-C display port, then you would have to use the included HDMI to Type-C adapter which requires you to connect the two USB cables to provide power and to extend USB functions to the keyboard. When connected to a mini PC, you can use it for both work and entertainment, accessing your office applications, files, and social media accounts. For audio, you would have to connect a pair of desktop speakers to its headphone jack, or you can use a Bluetooth speaker. So here I'm running different office applications, and they all work with touchscreen and keyboard functions within the limited window without issues. The blue gator on keys produces a clickety sound when typing, a feature that's welcomed by some users. However, you can customize and switch these keys to a much softer lower profile by purchasing separately. For audio, I paired my Bluetooth speaker to the mini PC and this solves the issue of no internal speaker on the keyboard. because it would give them the same number of points as Atletico, but the head-to-head -head goal difference is what counts in the case. So I saved the best for last. The most interesting and exciting feature with this keyboard is when you use it on an Android TV box. Never before have I ever achieved the touchscreen feature on a TV box until now. With the feature of mechanical keyboard connected to your TV box, you can navigate as well as play Android games with touchscreen controls, something I could only achieve by using a key mapping app, and that was for only playing games. And finally, the keyboard comes with options to adjust the display of the monitor, similar to that found on full-fledged portable monitors. Using the power button to access the menu, and using the plus or minus buttons to navigate and adjust your various color and brightness settings. The power button functions as an enter and return button, and the plus and minus buttons function as up and down and left and right to adjust a setting. So viewers, this brings to an end of my review. I think it's an amazing product and provides features some might find very useful in their everyday lives. My only wish is that it had built-in speakers and the screen had a 45 degrees tilt feature for when placed on flat surfaces. So if you would like to get your hands on one, you can do so using the link provided in the description below this video on Amazon. Links provided in the description are affiliate links and using them to purchase or even just to simply view the product supports this channel financially and provides the means for me to acquire new products for review, so thanks in advance for your support. So give this video the thumbs up if you like this product. If you are new to my channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button along with the notifications bell to be notified as soon as I release a new video or decide to do a giveaway. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video, stay tuned and I'll be seeing you in the next one.